up my beautiful people welcome back to another video with your girl pamela janani welcome back to my channel pamela janani of goddess what is your vibe i hope that you're absolutely amazing on this tuesday okay let's tap into this video if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and support me on this journey that i always say is bigger than your girl let's go okay so god is great okay god is good and he wants me to say if you're going through a storm right now and you don't see an outcome, an outlook, a solution, God says, pray to me. I provide that when you seek me, okay? Whatever you feel in your heart and in your gut, that is what I place inside of you. Move from that, okay? Don't move from the word of man. Don't move from the word of people who does not know what I have in store for you. God says, move when I place something inside of you and that is your intuition. So follow that. That came out of nowhere, okay? But it came out for a reason. But all in all, let's tap into this video, okay? So it's the new year okay we all got things we want to do to build the life that we want okay your girl is focused i'm focused i'm determined more than ever okay i am at a place in my life where i'm letting god guide me i'm letting god use me i'm letting god heal me i'm letting god use me as an, an, a, a branch okay a branch from him 111 on the clock as i said that i am here as a vessel for, of god okay i love god so much i've always been in love with him and i finally finally have ascended okay and to into becoming this beautiful woman of god that i know I am just, I'm, my future is bright, okay? And this is why I'm here to inspire you guys, to uplift you guys, and make sure that you know that your future is bright as well. This is not a mistake that I'm on this platform. This is where I am supposed to be at this very minute, okay? This very minute, this very second, this very hour, and so on, okay? I am here for a reason. You're here for a reason. All of our... All of our missions are different, okay? But they're here to definitely combine us and connect us in one way or another, okay? That came out of nowhere as well, but I'm going to tap into it. I'm going to give you guys these things that you need to do in order to build the life that you want to build, to create um, and embark on this journey with God, with God, being God, um, being God's co-creator. God is first. God is in charge of all of us, okay? If you give him that authority and that power to do so. If you don't and you want to live reckless and you want to do this and you want to do that, then don't expect to be rewarded, okay? And the rewards from God and the rewards from the devil are completely different, okay? The rewards from God and, he and the heaven up, up, up above is, uh, is something that nobody can take from you. But the rewards from the devil is Anybody can take it from you. Anybody, okay? You choose which one you want. You which one do you want to get it from, okay? Because I know where I want to get mine from, and I'm on here to inspire you guys to get it from the right person. And it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't this uh, Satan. It ain't. It's not Satan. And a lot of people think that it's Satan, but it's not Satan, honey. Satan will provide you with everything you need. He will provide multiple bodies in your bed. He will provide you with everything that you need when you need it. But God doesn't. And, and some people may not like that about God, but I'm telling you, that is a beautiful thing. God does not reward the wicked. God rewards the obedient, okay? And I am obedient and the rewards and his favor and his light, they're shining upon me, okay? And I'm here to make sure that you know that the same light that I hold is the same light that he placed inside of you and I am here to bring it out. That was that came out of nowhere too. You see, I was stuttering for a second because it, it's just coming and it's just flowing. But let's tap into what I have here, okay? So, what I want you to do, what God wants you to do, is surround your home with things that uplift you, things that make you happy. For me, it's pictures of my daddy. My daddy passed away. Pictures of my mom. It's plants. It's things that uplift me. And when I walk into any room in my home. It just makes me feel at peace and happy, okay? And that is something that you guys need to do. Find out whatever it is that makes you happy and place them in your home, okay? Your home is your sanctuary. It's where you belong. It's where you sleep. It's where you eat. And it should be so beautiful and magical. And you should just be just blissful, okay? Just feeling good and in awe about your surroundings, who you bring into your home. You should be comfortable to let people go in your home and see the beauty that holds um, that you hold inside of you and that comes through you. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so the another one the why can't I talk today? The another one. That's not how I talk. Okay, but another one. Okay, it's plan a trip. Plan a road trip guys. Plan a road trip and I don't care if it's in another city. It's two hours away. It's one hour away. It's in London. It's in Greece. Whatever it is that you can afford, plan a trip for the spring, for the summer, for the fall, or for the winter. But make sure you plan a trip for yourself or for your kids or for your family, okay, for before 2024. You got to go somewhere. God created this world for us to see, okay? We're not supposed to stay in one city. 
one state all of our lives, you can live there, yes. But we are supposed to see everything that God has created, okay? There's so much in these places overseas. There's so much in your own state, okay? God is saying whatever it is that you have within your budget, plan a road trip and plan a plan a trip afar. I don't know. Wherever you want to go, plan it, okay? Go over your money, okay, and plan a trip for you, your family, whoever it is, okay? Go, go. We got to see a lot, okay? We deserve to see the beauty that he has created, all right? Another one, get the proper amount of sleep. You guys are being told to get some sleep. If you're not sleeping, there's something that's causing you to be in lack. And God says, find what out, find what it, what it is that's making you lose sleep. If you got your gadgets by you, stop. Mm -mm. Don't do it. Move those, move them, move them. Okay. Do not be on social media two hours before bed. Okay. Of course, you're going to be thinking. You're going to think, 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 and then you're going to grab your phone again because you can't stop thinking. Okay. Put it away. Okay. God is saying sleep is key. A lot of people are okay with five hours. Some people are okay with six. God says, make sure you get between five and eight hours. Okay. You got to make sure it's a priority. If we're not getting the proper amount of sleep, our day-to-day -day function and activities are going to be a shit show. It, it is what it is, okay? We need sleep. We're meant to have sleep, okay? Um, What we got going here, give yourself something to look forward to. That is for the trip, I said. Give yourself something to look forward to. As humans, we need something to look forward to. For me, when I didn't have much to look forward to, um, you know, it made me kind of sad. It made me feel like, why am I living? Why am I here? This is way back in the day. But it doesn't matter how old I was or how young I was. When you don't have something to look forward to, you just feel bummed out. Like, what am I doing? Like, what am I here for? You know what I mean? And this is why God is so important. When you're focused on God, there's so much to do. Okay? There's so much to do. All right? So stay focused and know that when you are busy, busy working for God, you're never, 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 you're never bored. Okay? Um, have peace in the morning. The, our morning should be so peaceful, okay? I am so thrilled to just, when I definitely get married, you know, to just have coffee, tea with my husband. I prepare breakfast for him and my kids, and we just have a nice peaceful morning, okay? Definitely by a window. When you have breakfast by a window and there's just completely silence, okay? It is one of the most beautiful things that you can ever do. You know, turn on some nice music, but not like I'm about to break it down music. Turn on some nice, peaceful music to just make you be connected to God, okay? So definitely have a peaceful morning, okay? And this, these are things you guys need to do right now, okay? Don't start, start tomorrow, but start now, okay? I guarantee you they will change your life. Um, plan to accomplish all of your goals, your to-do list. Make sure you have a to-do list. So every night I write down everything that I want to accomplish the next day. Okay. Don't be writing down things that you know, you're not going to accomplish. Write down things that are going to be accomplished. Okay. And that you know, you need to do and you need to knock it out. Okay. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Reality. Find joy in your day's work. Find joy in school. Everything you do, find joy in it, okay? If we're like, oh, man, I got to go to work. Oh, man, I got to go to school. Oh, man, I got to do this. That is the tone that we're setting, okay? We're definitely going to be like, oh, man, we're not going to be happy. But if you get up and you say, okay, I got to go to work. I may not like it. I may not want to be here, but I'm working to get out of here. I'm working and I'm trying to find another job. I'm going to school so that I can build my education and thrive. Find the beauty and the joy in everything, okay? Don't allow just anyone to be in your space. Do not allow just anyone to come inside of your home, okay, to come up in your body, you get me, to come anywhere up in your circle. Do not just allow anybody. You got to make sure that they are good people, that they want the best for you as you want the best for them. And most importantly, nobody will be around me anymore if they do not follow and love God, okay? Not happening. No. Guys, just trust me. Not happening. Um, if you don't fear God, you're living a reckless life, okay? And I don't need you around me or my kids. Um, get physically active. Work out. Move your body every day. Trust me, once you get into it, even though it may take a bit to just like get into it and love it, because working out is no joke, but once you get into it, you're going to love it and you're going to keep up on it, okay? Connect with many people who are different, okay? They don't have to look like you. Okay, they don't have to have the same job as you. Make sure they're God fearing people, but connect with people. Um, if they're of Islam, if they're Jewish, if they're um Hindu, anything 
Connect with people, okay? People who love God and people who are good. Learn new cultures. Eat new food, okay? But embrace everybody that God has created in this earth. Everybody is beautiful and we have something to learn from everybody, okay? Um, love yourself and love thy neighbor. And that is it, okay? Love yourself and love thy neighbor, okay? Pour into people's cup who pour back into your cup. Do not pour into anybody's cup who is not pouring into your cup, okay? Been there, done that, finito, all right? So that is it for this video, guys. Everything that I have included in this video is going to help your life be fruitful, okay? It's gonna help you right now. If you start these things right now, it is going to help you and elevate you within a month. You're gonna see the difference in you just like that, okay? So subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. When you do subscribe to my channel, you're supporting God's kingdom. When you do give me a thumbs up, you're energetically, energetically supporting me and God's kingdom. I talk fast just a little bit and I know, maybe I need to bring it down. I know when I was little, I used to read fast and they're like, slow down, get into the story. So I'm going to work on that, but I'm thrilled. I'm passionate about God and passionate about connecting with you guys. My son is knocking on the door. He wants me. I'm going to check on him, but subscribe, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later. I believe in you. Okay.